A person in a green tunic. Zelda, wasn't that Link? Also, I love the way that the entrance, like the r large rift looks from the outside. Also, we can just like return to the outside from here as well. But let's go in. Got a lot of places to be. The, the wind doesn't like us though, so we have to be climbing around that. Gonna block that off. Seems to work. Okay. Our second dungeon. Doesn't have to be the second dungeon, but it's the one I prefer to get second. Out of the one playthrough that I've done of this. Um, let's go left to start. Got some enemies here. I actually want to copy that. Although, I'm pretty sure that they, when they break, they're probably going to also drop themselves. But we've got some flying tiles here. Which we just need to dodge. You might actually be able to like jump onto them to dodge them. But we'll just add that echo to our collection. And grab this chest. I was really hoping that this uh, moblin would just be a good meat shield. We should do an alright job of that. And we can also heal if we need to as well, so. It's not a total fa failure, so. Uh, we need to pull on this to make it stay open for us. And then we need to go quickly across here. And we need a way to jump up. Excuse me. Coming through. There we go. Okay. Now, this is here to teach us a bit of a mechanic about this dungeon. And it, that includes the thing outside. We had to pull the thing to make the sand appear. Or drain. We've got these handles that we can just pull on. With bind. Which is going to be very important to know. If you see a handle, you just pull on it. Basically. It's a good indication of things that we can interact with. Got a small key. That should be good for us. So walk back to over here so I don't have to walk back manually. I'm so lazy. But that's, that's why the white waypoints are there, so... Also, one other thing I need to point out, that some breakables can be, like, just broken with your sword, so... New Echo. Snake Statue. It's pretty cool. They're pretty solid, and we can just move them around, so... Okay. Oh, hello. Got some Mothula. These are quite quick when they actually get going. And they are flying enemies, so we need to be... Gotta figure out what's good against them. Maybe just crows? If they're fast enough? Otherwise we can also just, like, use our sword. I mean, that works. If we're careful. Uh, I need to put my sword away and spin. Let's grab that, because that should be a good ma matchup for them. Let's take out the second one. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I feel like this isn't going to work out for me. It does cost three try for this. There we go. Okay. Also, this room is a really cool room. I just need to say that. Uh, let me find the bed. The better bed. We'll increase how much we've used that so it's more, more likely to show up in the list. And we'll just heal up because we could use a healing up right now. That should be good. Okay. Got some pots. And there's a chest over there. We can reach it, but we can't do anything much more than that, so... Okay, we need to move those boxes out of the way. Just gonna drop them in the pit. So we can get across. Got the roly-poly guy again. You know, the roly-poly guy, that's its official name. We just want to use another one against it, or do we want to just drop in a pit? I don't know. Let's try this. Seems good. Nice. 
can also get to this chest if we use the mole again. I don't know how much we've used it, so it's probably not a common one yet, but it should probably become a common one. Just have to use enough to get to that point. Where is it? I'm blind. There it is. A hole mill, rather than a mole hill. Got a golden egg. Apparently there's one of those in all the dungeons. Not that we need it, it's just a thing to know. Nice. Good timing. Perfect. That is the ideal scenario, I would say. Okay, another waypoint. And more handles. Seek two distinct tributes. Clue, clues to the desired tributes are recorded somewhere on this floor. Okay. We can also go to most last learned. You can see that the statue kind of like matches up like perfectly for it, but it didn't open the door for us, so we're gonna have to keep looking. Let's go this way. Some mole. Probably should go to most used. Does that actually work on this enemy? I wonder. If I can get it to match up. It does work. It does pull them all out of the ground. Little thing here. It stands quietly in the sanctum. It, it is blue in color. With large tusks and a long nose. Okay. Cool story, bro. Gonna pull this out, please. Oh boy. Oh boy. The thing's coming to get me. Uh, how quick are you compared to a spider? Spider seems good. Just gonna open this. Get some rock salt. Ten portions. They seem to be too evenly matched. I'm just gonna leave it. Since we don't need to actually do anything with that. We have a new enemy. A Poe. Which leaves a lot of fire behind it. Which is going to make it difficult to actually get to. Did it just burn itself? I think it did. Let's try this. Actually, I think I have a better echo for this. And that's the boomerang bokoblin. Or bawblin. Not that we really needed much more to kill it, apparently. But yeah, the boomerangs are pretty good, especially when you have multiple of them at once, all throwing their boomerangs. Got the Poe Echo. That one's pretty expensive from what I remember. Yeah, four. Four try. Got the dungeon map! Now we can see the dungeon layout. And it, this area of the steer world. Ah, uh, the other button. Minus. So here's this floor. How do I... like that. There's the top floor. We can actually see that the dungeon entrance is in that room that we've been in before. Hmm. You can also switch to the outside view as well. There's quite a lot out there, apparently. Well, it's a good thing there's an entrance to the outside right here. Hey, look! That's got to be Link, but where is he going? Also, I really want to test something right now. Like, it's like... I think it's here? Maybe, maybe it's not. No, it can't be then. It feels like it would have been there, but no, I can't remember. There's like a, a specific thing in this dungeon. But you can... yeah. There's like a different way to do it. But you have to, like, know about it to be able to do it. Also, I really messed this up, but that's okay. I just want to get in this window here. This is just a secret room with some rupees in it, so... It's probably worth grabbing it on the way past rather than coming back for it. Speaking of somebody who came back for it. Just gonna get them to fight. I don't need to worry about them. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. As well as the chest. 
We have to pull out of the ground. Uh, I might also get something to fight these enemies for me. Just in case. 20 rupees, excellent. It is nice having the map on the... Or the chest on the map. All the way around. I know what I was trying to say. Well, so we can just, like, spring up with that. That's very helpful. Uh, but we have some more handles here, so let's pull on this one this way. To rotate the ladder into place. They really were trying to teach you about handles. Like, at the very beginning of the dungeon, so... It's very important to know how they work. 50 rupees, very happy. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, don't blow me. Also need to get up here. Can I? Yes, I can. With one, one, one jump, pramp, I can't, words. One trampoline. One trambamalam. Anyway, got a waypoint here now, which is very helpful for us. Just want to get rid of some more things here. Open up this chest. And we get a monster stone. The strange stones can be form inside of the monster bodies. Bodies and monsters. Let's go down here. No, there's nothing there. Also, the enemies just fell off the edge. Ah, uh, but we can bring out our whole mill again. And dig in the, into the sand here. Excuse me, I'm trying to... Excuse, excuse. You're, you're my echo. Get out of my way. I'm going to die. Um, give me a moment. Go muscular again. We do have enough try for a, just a regular bed. Although I think we killed the... Nope, it's still alive. <laughs> I just I can't see it. There's still two there. I was wondering why... I'd... Yeah, it was so peaceful for a second. This is such a slow way to heal. <laughs> Which is why I was hoping to use the better bed. It's fine. We're all fine. Can also switch things while I'm waiting. What do I need? The whole mill. Okay. Stick through there and go down. Which drops us right next to this chest here that we saw earlier. I really thought the first time I came through here that you had to like move the chest from the other side of the wall onto the sand spot and then like drain the sand. Like we did outside, but that's not the case. It was a cool idea, though. And then I mean, like, once the sand is taken care of, you'd be able to just drop it in the pit otherwise. Oh, hey, that drops us right here. That works. Ah, uh, but we need to not be here, because we need to be back on the roof, which is a good thing that they have that waypoint there. Okay. Let's go down, and down. Where does this connect to? Important question. Uh, just out here. Got this door that we need to get to quickly. Which I think we can just probably go straight to it. If we're quick. Like that, that'll work. Got some more statues, and also some Redead and Gibdo. Which are all basically the same, but... Different. That's not what I meant to spawn in. I need to actually select the thing I need to spawn in. That should work. Huh, they're coming this way. Get him. I might also just want to sword them. That'll work. Let's also learn this cat statue. Very nice. There's also three of them here. Quite a few. Um, also want to get the wind. I think these two are going to be fighting for a bit. Although they're going pretty quick right now. Please. The screams slow me down. Stop it! Stop it! Kill him! There we go. Got him. Just gonna blow some of this around, because we can. 
Nothing seems to be here. Another waypoint, though. You'll take that. Also, I love that, like, this is, like, the Gerudo Sanctum. Like, this is theirs. It's really cool. There's so many cool things that they can do in this world. Seems like we have another Shadow Link on our hands. Let's, um... Do something about this. Come on. Come on. Please. Please, I want... I want to... A wriggle free now, Link! Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that did anything. Probably not. <laughs> but it's just very amusing to me that we can just drop him in the pit. If we do it right. Yeah, I don't think it's doing any damage. It doesn't do any damage to us, so I don't think it does any damage to him. Oh. Get him. With your shield. <laughs> do it. Ah, uh, there should be something... I remember there was something really good for this, but I don't remember what it was. It might just be like boomerangs. If we can get it to light up correctly with him. That'll work. But of course there has to be a phase two. Everything in this game has a phase two. Ah, there's gotta be something better than this. I don't think it's that. I think it's probably Gibdo or Ridded. If we just use it the right way. Also, it's a good thing we just have access to beds whenever we need. Even in the middle of a fight, you can you can use bed. Just gotta time it right. And get in the right position. They're really trying to mess me up right now. That'll work. Got him. Got him, get him. I'm, he's a little bit higher, but I can jump up. There we go. This is like what happened with Facet, and your people at the castle. Link was taken by the Still World and replaced with an Impostor 2. Maybe we can help the real Link by fixing the rift. Left behind his bow. We'll take that and add it to our sword. Bow of Might. Now you can fire arrows by pressing X when in sword fighter form. Very nice. So can I do something about this? Probably not. It's also that up there. Alright, we have a thing for this now. We can shoot arrows to get rid of that. And speaking of arrows to destroy things, we can use the arrows with our bow to get rid of that as well. Also, this platform, like, just... <laughs> yep, it's gone. <laughs> it does not last in the pit. Uh, I probably just need to regular bed. Although I have a feeling this... is gonna get be annoying and break our bed. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. You can probably just get rid of this as a shortcut back. Not that we need to, I just want to. 
just how I roll. Another checkpoint, waypoint, that one. We have these fire doodads that we probably want to adjust by pulling on them because they have handles on the back. Pull like that. Nope, not that one. This one. How do I do the last one, though? Just like this. It's not quite ideal, but we can do it again. We can learn this elephant statue. Nice. Grab that. Get a small key. Okay. Could probably use it for something. Nothing else here. Okay. Uh, let's go back to wherever the split path was. I think actually what I'm thinking about is like, oh, over there. Right. Never mind then. <laughs> ignore me. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, this might actually be an optional key. Just think about it. Because I don't think what the thing we need is actually this way. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm usually wrong. This is interesting, though. Because we can clearly see that there's a secret here. We just need to pull it from the other side. Which is an important note to know about. Okay, um, fire. We also need to do something about that wind over here if we can just, like, drop it into the pit. Okay, let's pull this around. Set that alight. Set that alight. And then, not that. Although fire arrow would be cool. I don't know if that's actually a thing in this game, though. I'm just gonna light that up like that. Oh, hey! Another hint. It rests its wings atop a tower. It bears sharp eyes and a strong beak. So, yeah. You don't actually need to get that, I don't think. But it's probably helpful to actually have. Uh, how do I... There we go. It doesn't, like, rotate. You have to actually, like, swap with the left button rather than the right button or something. That was weird. Or maybe it's just my D-pad being weird. Ah, uh, but we need to be outside again because there's more to explore right here. Though we have not yet. Let's go this way. And if I can, I'd like to use my thing again. My crawl chiller. That's not angled the right way. That's gonna kill me. Almost certainly. Just gotta make sure it's on the platform. Now, we've got some enemies over there. We could just use the Moblin, Sword Moblin level 2. Uh, but I also think that the Gibdo level 2 is pretty good. I wanna try it out at the very least. It's like really strong by the looks of it. And it doesn't get affected by the screams because it's also a redead. But it also doesn't slow down to scream like the redead. So Gibdo level 2 is actually really good. Kinda busted. <laughs> With the right scenario. Ah, uh, but here we go. We have another rotational tower thing. Just need to get to the right position for this. Which I think is like actually this side, so it's fine. Need to grab the handle. Pull it like this. And there we go. It really wants to make sure you know about the handles. Because otherwise you wouldn't know how to climb up here. Other than using a spider, because you can just use a crawl chiller to actually get up here. But let's learn this, uh... Hawk statue. And with that, we should have everything we need. So let's head back into the main part of the dungeon. Back to this waypoint right here. Because we had two hints, in the right and to the uh, right in the different area. So let's pull out our statues. One which is uh, blue with tusks, I believe. 
and one that stands above with a stone beak, which lights up the platforms underneath them when you have one that's correct. And you have to have two different ones. You can't have the two of the same. But there we go. That's also like a really cool door. Just gotta pull this. Drain the sand. There's the boss entrance right in that room that we had the Mothula in. And there's the big chest. Which is actually like right here, which is very convenient for us. Now, we need to... Grab this and adjust to spin this into position. And if we spin this again, it does rotate it, but it's not the right position that we need. So let's line it up with a different angle and pull on the handle. Just like that. Got the big key, now you can open the big door. And I think that's everything else in the dungeon. So let's do it. Just gonna get this waypoint. Let's go in. Mogriff. Mogriff? I don't know. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is actually just move the statues over this way. No reason. But they are quite helpful for us because they also stun him when he dashes into them. Good round, good round. He also destroys some of the sand piles, which actually creates more energy for us to pick up, which is actually really good. We can also use these uh, statues as like, like a type of shield, basically. Please don't spawn like underneath me. I don't think you can. I'm just, like, asking him to politely not. I'm also going to switch my thing quickly. Sword Bubble, maybe? Maybe... Maybe even Gibdo. Just to do some extra damage while we're going at it. Phase 2. Quicksand. Which will, if we have any statues in it, pull them down. So it's good to actually grab the, the real ones before they get grabbed. Although now that they're, they're also destroyed, so it doesn't matter anyway. We're gonna have to need, we're gonna have to grab our own now, so. Also dodge the tornado, sand, whatever they are. The sand winds, because, ow. Breaks both of those. This should work though. He also sinks in the quicksand, I believe. So if you can actually like pull him out while something else attacks him, that's also quite valid. Just gonna use that as shield. It's pretty good. And actually we have a bow now. So technically, if I can get into the right spot, we can also, like, shoot him with our bow. But it's not as good as just, like, waiting for an opportunity to attack. Any other way. Let's finish him off.
My friends shared some of their power with me. Level 3. I feel like I can do even more now. You can now create echoes at a distance. Echo at a distance by pressing and holding Y to charge power. Five my crystals from try. My friends told me something while we were mending the rift. They said that monster captured them. It was the first time something like that happened to them. But since you defeated the monster, they can get back to work. There's not really anything else to do in the Steel World net for now. So let's get back to your world, Zelda. And being able to create echoes at distance is super powerful. The longer we hold it, the further they go. But the, when they also hit a wall, they will also stop at that wall, so. But this means we can also, like, shoot it through things. But, like, it has to be, like, bars or something. But it will be very helpful to have that power. Another heart container. Let's go. You're back! All the rifts are gone now, including the big one that was here. You did it, Zelda. Everyone in town is waiting your return. Come on, let's go together. <laughs> Time to celebrate the rifts going away. Come on, it's on me. <sighs> You're going to come crying to me. Uh, help. Uh, to help you pay the bill again, what aren't you? Just at that moment, a faint shadow of a warrior rose out of the darkness. Looks like everyone's uh, conveniently forgotten that it's time for training. <laughs> oh, come now. This is the time, a time of celebration. The rifts are gone. Training can happen tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone is in good spirits. <laughs> they really are. Oh. Zelda, allow me to express my deepest gratitude. Thanks, thank you for helping us. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Zelda. Because of you, we took a uh, decisive action, and our desert is saved. Oh. I must thank you as well, Donna, my daughter. Your determination and your love for our people have saved this town. Ah, oh, mother. <laughs> You've grown so much. In fact, I think you are already capable, capable of being chief. <laughs> what? Not yet, right? I mean, there's still so much I have to learn. But thank you, Mother. It feels good to hear you say that. <laughs> Zelda, you intend to continue traveling and fixing the rifts, yes? I will pay pray for your success. Turned out that your father wasn't here e either. But there's still another rift to check. Out. It's far to the east, in a place with lots of water. So let's take care of that rift now. This rift has been taken care of. 